Yo, 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 what's up guys, American Mexican Gunslinger, today we're going to talk about the COOF. Yeah, that's right, we're going to talk about those needles trying to be implanted into your forearm, into your arm, your forearm. <laughs> you guys, this is crazy, you know what I'm saying, like, it's insane that these people think that these shots can get you to be healthy, to be cured, to cure something that potentially doesn't exist because it probably doesn't. Because throughout the whole time of me going through 2020 and now, I've never got the coof, whatever the heck that is. I mean, I've had allergies, you know, I got a lot of sneezing and coughing because of mold <laughs> but but never I had never heard any I, I didn't I haven't met anyone who's gotten the coof. My family members have never got it either. So it's like what are these people talking about? Oh I got the coof. I'm I, I got the coof so I, yeah I do this and I got the shot, you know? All these people bro when when I hear like people who are so called awake, they they be talking about all these other things, but then they bring up the coof and they're like, I remember I got the coof. I'm like, what? What are you talking about, bro? The only way you can get sick off that is if you take their experimental drug and get it injected into you. That's the only way they can do it. And the, and, and the matter of fact is that you have to be okay with it, with them doing it. S someone cannot just do it to you forcefully without you having the consent of, yeah, I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? And that is the problem, you know. The problem is that these people are like, you know what, go ahead, take it, you know. And they do it. And then they're like wondering, why am I so sick? Why am I having rashes? Why can I not run without my heart stopping? Maybe because you put yourself in that particular situation without even thinking about it. And that's what happens with a lot of these people is that they trust these physicians. They trust these medical experts and doctors with these experimental drugs they trust them that much that they're willing to give their lives to experiment on their body you know what i'm saying and maybe majority of you might agree with me majority of you be like this guy's crazy but i've seen so many bad side effects because of it children dying Old folks dying, getting strokes, heart attacks, clogged arteries, you know, what is it, neurological problems, you guys, rashes, skin problems, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is so true, but it's like when the coup happened, they were blaming a lot of deaths, even like fatalities that had nothing to do with the coof, they were blaming it on the coof. They were trying to get the tolls up so badly that they had to use natural cause deaths, accidents, and other things that the coof was not related to. They blamed it on it. You know what I'm saying? And that is your government right there. Trying to toll up the deaths and blame it on something that never existed. I'm only putting this out there because not a lot of people want to talk about it. They don't have the courage to talk about it, you know. And, you know, then like in the Christian community, like I, I myself, I, I, I kind of consider myself a Christian. But, you know, I don't know what it's like to be a full, true, blown Christian. Like, I don't know. I'm still learning. I read my Bible every day. I pray every day. I tried to do the greatest things, you know, 
no drugs, no alcohol, no fornicating, no watching explicit things. You know, I try to be the best version of myself, you know what I'm saying? And that's the only way I can think of of being a Christian, you know, taking care of your temple because our bodies are temple. That's what I'm trying to say. So all these people who got themselves that experimental drug injected to them, they have denounced their temple and the temple that was given to them by God. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because majority of people have got this injected into them already. And I know a few folk who have got injected and they're not the same anymore, guys. I know my father is one of them, you know, and my father, you know, when when I knew who he was and known growing up, I already knew how he was, but then he started changing slowly and slowly. And I really didn't get to really know him as he was anymore, you know. I don't really think about these things so often because it's like, no one's talking about them anymore. And now they're, they're trying to implement these new mandates and these new rules and laws because all this this bird disease or whatever, bird flu, cow flu, whatever they want to implement into the world into making them think that this thing is real. You know, once I start seeing people like the walking dead, zombies walking, and then I'll probably believe it, you know. Then I'll be like, all right, the zombie apocalypse, bro. Get your machetes, get your guns. Let's go. Let's go take some walkers out. <laughs> but till then, guys, I don't see any of that, you know. I don't see thousands of bodies laying on the floor because of a pandemic I don't see that. And if you don't see that, then what is going on with you guys? Don't fall into the fake narrative that these politicians, these physicians, these doctors, the government, all these people are all involved in the same scheme. And it's just to make money. How, how, many, how many masks do you think they sold? They sold millions, probably even billions, guys. And they made so much money about that. So much money, you guys. And think about how much these doctors get paid for in letting you get injected with this experimental drug. They get paid bank, you guys. They get paid bank. Even with regular vac <laughs> injections, you know what I'm saying? I want to say the word, but I'm not, because then YouTube's going to be like, Hey, we're going to take your channel down. And I'm trying to reach as many people as I can with these videos. You know what I'm saying? If you guys don't believe what I'm saying, go look up the research. And don't be looking up sources that come from these pro-medication places. Like I said, Pharmakia means witchcraft and sorcery they're doing this on purpose you guys it's no game it is no game that's why i say take care of your body your body is a temple given to you by god like me like even me like i don't even have tattoos anywhere so that i cannot be easily identified that's going to be a problem for them. I, I don't care, you know, I digress. But anyways, please be prepared. Please have the mental stability. Be sober-minded. Be sober-minded so you can see the things of this world on what they are. This is Satan's kingdom, you guys. This is Satan's kingdom. He has taken over the whole world believe that believe that because it's obviously true when jesus christ was um fasting for 40 days and 40 nights the devil offered them all the kingdoms of the earth you guys why do you think that is because he is the ruler of this world thank you guys for watching i'm american mexican gunslinger let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about this rant i'm out peace